massive uh always gotta always gotta appreciate that kind of stuff Ooh, that's that was a tight as all hell jump right there good job me i do know how to platform guys it's okay we will get through the level or at least the game in itself relatively okay maybe hello mr turtle nope you know it's got to be real awkward when you're stuck on a bridge that leads to literally nowhere and uh you just have this bandicoot individual that's just doing some hops on you it's like all right that's so rude okay i thought there would be another uh part of the bridge that was invisible to appear but uh that was not the case at all <laughs> that sure wasn't all right let's try that again let's let's go ahead and give that another round two as they say Ooh, that gem platform almost kind of scared my vision for a brief moment there Oh, that's a shame. I'm losing unnecessary lives. What a classic. I'm sure there's probably players, uh, uh, at least those that have played Crash Bandicoot, that probably had the had a similar mindset. Just, oh yeah, a real easy part, and then I'll just mess up like 800 times. It's probably the recording curse, if I'll be honest. There's always uh, the individual or the type of individuals that once the record button is hit a lot of mess ups happen and you just you just regret it man but yeah this is the actual real true exit out of the level of course with the box gem in hand or i guess in coco's case behind her i don't really know i don't know how those gems end up appearing in the most weirdest of places for these characters, but you know what? Just be how it be sometimes, you know? Just checking these levels. Okay, so lights out. I don't think we can do yet. Off the top of my head. I don't think we can. Because we are missing a... Uh, a very specific color gem in order to get this color gem, hilariously enough. But yeah, the, these types of levels, um, basically, as you can see, Aku Aku acts as your light, and he will go out over time. So you can't really be standing still once Aku Aku is currently lighting the area. Uh, and if he ends up going out, well, that's probably GG, if I'm going to be honest with you. It's, it's that kind of brutal here. And you can jump on the sides to kind of give yourself some more speed. Or to keep things moving along. Because for as much as I like to say, yeah, play the waiting game and everything will be okay. Uh, you don't really want to play the waiting game with this type of level. I'm just, just going to say that now. Especially since there is a harder variant of this level that we'll encounter later down the road. But yeah, I don't think... Again, this is just trying to recall off a of memory, but I don't think we can get the box gem for this level yet. See, we're missing the gem for it, so that's unfortunate. Ooh, I thought I wasn't going to make that for a moment. We will have to wait there, though. And if, of course, if you do get hit with Aku Aku, then that also turns out the lights as well. Even though we got hit at the end, we're still good because we were near the exit. You could see it. It was nice and bright. Very nice and bright. It's very short level, too. All right, we got the Jaws of Darkness. That sounds like a whole lot of fun. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, so we do have the blue gem for this, so we can fully complete this level. And thankfully, this is also a level in which we don't need to worry about dying. Although, I believe with this level, you want to be careful uh, with regards to a particular enemy placement. Because we actually do need one of the icons that will be appearing. Uh, or, you know, just being careful when 
platforming just in general. Which is something I still need to work on, but it's okay. We'll get there. We will get there. Hopefully we don't jump into the cauldron again, eh? Hey, look at that. Yeah, much like uh, the Temple Ruins level, we just gotta be pretty safe. Or you gotta, you gotta really kind of judge distance here a good bit. How many boxes are there? 112. You know, later Crash games would actually have one absurd more amount than that, hilariously enough. Okay, good. Thank you. You took me to another moving by itself platform. Okay. What? Oh, I might have uh, not assessed the situation well enough there. Ah, yes. One of the Neo Cortex icons. Very nice. Ooh. I wanted to make sure that wasn't the one I was thinking of, and I don't think it was, thankfully. But as you can see, more boxes to be had here. Let's go ahead and break them. Yeah, and there's even a hidden box up here because the game's that mean. Does it surprise anyone? Nah, not really. Not at all. You do have some platforming here, so definitely do be careful. And, uh, Aku Aku Mask to give you a, a movement speed increase to really kind of mess you up. I honestly think it's, like, a way to mess with the player here. Because I get the feeling that they want, I guess, to add a little more challenge? I don't, know, I don't really know. And there we go. I think that's pretty much it as far as uh, the blue gem route is concerned. It's quite good. There we go. And we're sitting at about 50 boxes here. Get a patience game. Thanks, Bats. You are the absolutely greatest of enemies. <laughs> You can see what I mean, though. Death perception can very much get you right there, unfortunately. Just make sure you are very much at the edge of these platforms when you jump to the next one, because it could very well cost you. You don't want that. You certainly do not want that. Yes, this is the one. You want to jump on that one, because there is a Neo Cortex icon that you will blow up if you spin the snake toward it, so... Again, just... Okay. I get scared every time, folks. That's just how it is sometimes. But alright. The Neo Cortex bonus room. Let's do it. I'm in danger. It's basically a waiting game. And I didn't notice that until I uh, committed to my jumps. Can't win them all, I guess. Now let's wait a little bit. Beautiful. Do a waiting game. Ooh, that was so close, we have no idea. Honestly, way easier than the Brio bonus stage and slippery uh, climb. If you were to ask me personally. Uh, okay, so we can walk across, thankfully. Ooh, don't want to hang there, though. Let's just jump around. Oh my god. I feel like. I feel like I'm like on a roll for making just the absolute silliest of mistakes, I swear. Now we got the Tana bonus room. And as a fun fact, much like how you can spin Wumper Fruit, I'm surprised it took me this long to mention this. 
But much like how you can spin and uh, knock Wumpa fruit away, you can also spin the tokens away. So if that happens, yikes, to put it one way. I really hope there is not a platform up there. Okay, I get you. I get you, game. Now that's just mean. I, I should have expected it. Where they would have uh, threw in a little like tee hee ha ha at you. But since I'm just such a silly lad to not recognize it, that's just, uh, that's just where we're at right now. I don't know how I did not. I don't know how I didn't hit that. Wow. Color me shocked, folks. I'm out. Dip. I don't even care if my life went away. Ooh, dear. See, we got a few extra one-ups. Okay. And just like that, another box gem to add to the total. Kind of assessing the situation right now. That is, that is wicked. That's kind of close, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Alright. Would you believe me, by the way, that that jump right there, I actually missed at the end. I don't know how. Really couldn't tell you. But yes, we are now up to 82%. My goodness. But, uh... What is it? With that being said, I think we're going to wrap it up. Yeah, I know. We're pretty close to the end here. I mean, you can kind of see we're pretty much there. But I'm going to wrap it up here. Once we come back, we'll just finish Crash 1 in its entirety. At least that's the hope anyways. And possibly fit in Stormy Ascent if we can. Hopefully that's possible. But it just depends on how long it'll take us to get through the, some of these levels. But I'll catch you guys and gals next time with more Crash Bandicoot on the Insane Trilogy. Have a good one, everyone.